going to be unmuted and just... Oh, oh, I'm unmuted. Okay, hi! Welcome to Laugh It's Comedy Short Form. Um, let's just get everybody on out here. Hey! hey. Welcome, guys. We're going to be doing some fun short form today for you. Um, have some fun improv games. Ooh, Dave's very close. Uh, we're going to start with World's Worst. So if we could just get a suggestion of the World's Worst profession, hobby, event, object... Anything that's in your mind, type it into the chat right now. That'd be great. Fantastic. Let's start. I want to see World's Worst Puppet. Just go ahead and raise your hands if you got one. Dave. I got no strings to hold me down. <laughs> Quinn? <laughs> oh, uh, sure. <laughs> um, my hand wasn't raised. That but... was not a. That was just a. <laughs> sure. Uh... Blaine. <laughs> so, okay. Dad, Dad, why are you making me dance? I, I'm not your puppet. <laughs> that was wonderful. Okay, we have suggestions. Can I get a food tester? World's worst food tester, please. Yeah, Quinn. Uh, yeah, see, I know, uh, you want me to taste this, but I don't actually like soup, so, uh, I'm sure it's fine. This is <laughs> oh, you want me to taste, uh, mm, sorry, that looks like it has gluten, and I am gluten-free, I am fat-free. Blaine! Oh, I'm sorry, I finished it. Do you, uh, it was great. It was really good. <laughs> Dave! Oh, orange juice and toothpaste gelatin? Oh no, I know I'm not gonna like you. Sydney. Achoo! Oh, I'm sorry. That's probably some kind of health code violation. Ooh, let's go to world's worst funeral. Ooh, Eric. Uh, today we are gathered here to mourn I want to say, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I know I'm not dead yet, but you guys are not showing enough emotion for my not passing. <laughs> Alex. Do you hear knocking from the coffin? <laughs> Dave. Body, right, body, ah. Ben. Uh, that guy was just a bastard. And oh. The people are here. Join you. Uh, Alex. Oh, yeah, it's real easy if you want them in a brown suit instead of a blue suit. We just switch the heads. <laughs> okay, can I get world's worst potato? <laughs> <laughs> Abby. Sydney. <laughs> I'm coming for your soul. <laughs> Blaine. I'm from Montana. We're just as good, I swear. <laughs> Dave. You think it's bad for being blind in just two eyes? <laughs> Abby. I only have eyes yes! for yes! you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to skip... The, the, there is the world's best Sarah Schultz watching, so we're going to skip. Uh, can I get the world's worst grandpa? <laughs> uh, Alex. How many little bastards are there now? Thirteen? <laughs> Dave. My diaper's not going to change itself. <laughs> Quinn. Yeah. I meant to tell you, you're not actually related to me. Your mother's adopted. Don't tell her. <laughs> uh, can I get the world's worst astrophysicist? Oh, that's a setup. Oh, Alex Moskowitz. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ben? I'm definitely qualified for the position. I'm a big fan of the Houston Astros. <laughs> Most of us were targeted to Dave, who didn't have the puppets ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Ooh, the next game uh, is going to be Party Corks.
Dave, I believe, is throwing a party. I can't wait. I've been wanting to host the party for so long. Let me know when to start. Okay, people are going to come. There's going to be a little doorbell noise. Oh boy. Okay, good Lord. You know what, I got all this stuff out. I could just use some help arranging it a little bit. My gosh, this is, this is so, I mean, so many people were vegan nowadays. I mean, like, break that thing. God, maybe somebody can help me. Hey, come in. Namaste. All, all, everything that's good in the world for me is good for you. And I think I paraphrased that plenty. <laughs> it, is, it is so nice to be here in your house. It has such a calming effect. Uh, thank you for inviting me today. You are so most welcome. I got all of those um, clean cotton candles from Yankee Candle. And I think it just brightens up the place that smell. I agree. I'm going to go observe them. Oh, I think you should. I'm like, oh, good, another guest. You know what? I was starting to feel alone. Not <laughs> good Lord. Yes. Hi. Welcome. Hello. 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 You're not vegan, are you? <laughs> if that means I got rid of all the animals, so everybody had to be vegan. Maybe. Maybe uh, I have a dark backstory. You're, you're a little controlling. Maybe you can start yes, I'm going to go get some more doves. Please do. Hey, come in. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. You're right on time. That's right. That's right. Um, there was, I was talking down, you know, my wife, uh, she was saying something there. And uh, we were talking about this, uh, this little activity we got here. And, and she pointed out that, you know, the entrance to your door, that you know, those footprints, they couldn't have just got there. And, and, and then there's one more thing. Um, it's, uh, I, I'm just going to go over, I'm, I'm going to go over here. Oh, I, I, think I forgot. I forgot. When, when you, um, when you said you were meeting with your, with your brother to set up the party. Right, he, right, right. Um, he was, uh, he was involved with a bit of funny business, wasn't he there? Well, yeah, he's from another mother, but we're really close. Yes. Um, and I think um, hopefully your inspection goes really well, Mr. Columbo. Oh, yes. Detective. Yeah. Detective Columbo. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's so always fun. I have a question for you, Miss Guest. You mentioned yes. animals and, and, and hunting them. Did that mm -hmm. bring your soul peace? Did it, did it make you feel calm and like together? Well, yes. you know what? Uh, for, for me, it was somewhere around my third chakra. So mm -hmm. like any yoga teacher would be more than apt to help diagnose yes, whatever you got it. holding my weight. Ah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, David, I have come to your party. And I did take care of all the animals in the world. So everybody had to be vegan. But wow. I shall tell you my amazing Lan, you see, David, we're a lot alike, you and I. Really, you're short and sighted, and you have sleep apnea. <laughs> oh, you're so close, Dave. So close. <laughs> I thought I would be. You seem very domineering, and I'm kind of a pacifist. And there's more gray in my beard. <laughs> yes, yes, but that's not that's not all of it. Oh, excuse me. Hench, hench, I need you to get me the potato chips. <laughs> hench is my man. Oh, yeah. God. You're, 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 not, you're not the. Uh, it's okay, Dave. The, what are you thinking? I think she's the Highlander because there can only be one. Oh, no? okay. You're halfway there. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. Who's the bad guy on Highlander? Halfway. God. God, if I could just get to know this guest just a, a little bit more. Maybe. Okay, super villain. It's super villain. <laughs> just say the word super villain, Dave. Mm -hmm. Super villain. Yes! Ah, the yes! curse is spoiled again. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, using an object or a cat and not a real cat there. 
I was a little disappointed, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, considering He's sleeping, what happened at the end, like, yeah, in that between was so much computer. better. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I know there's an actual cat there. I was yeah. disappointed, but I knew there was one there. I'm like, mm, I want to see the cat. <laughs> it would be very cat-like if she decided to wake up after this bit. Of course. Yeah. And we'll have great advice for her. Next game is the good, the bad, and the ugly advice. So I believe we have three people here. If you want to type in a question, anything you really need advice on in your life, in your friend's life, asking for a friend's life, anything along those lines would be great. Um, for right now, uh, can I get advice if you're looking for a roommate? Someone you could really pandemic with. Oh, sir, Abby, if you want to start. Oh, yes. Um, well, it's very important to look at somebody who has very similar interests that you have, but also very similar um, habits of housekeeping because, you know, someone might be really cool, but if they don't pick up after themselves, that's not good. Um, so always make sure their cleaning routine is in check. Okay, uh, Alex, do you have any advice? Uh, yeah, I think it's very important that um, you find somebody who really likes to party, stays up all night, has all the good connections, knows how to score uh, some fun substances, if you know. I think pandemic can get really isolating, and you just want to be able to, you know, chill out and relax sometimes. That's great. Quinn, what advice do you have? Well, it's real easy to find roommates. You just go outside whoever's brave enough to venture outside they're probably a good fit so just take them back to your house don't let them leave and now they're your roommate <gasps> that sounds <laughs> wonderful my <laughs> okay uh we have a suggestion my butt itches wait that's not a question my butt itches quinn you start oh well crap uh well i guess you better <laughs> itch it then <laughs> <laughs> that's Hope great advice alex <laughs> um the butt itches. Um, <laughs> As a question. Definitely, definitely the ER. There, there are certain things you don't want to mess with and you want to leave it to the professionals. I think the ER is the place to go. <laughs> Fantastic. Abby? I would say go a step beyond the ER um, and look up your symptoms on the internet. Um, it's a very, very high chance that you're dying. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Alex, how can I become Shogun of Japan? Open up Japan. Um, I think moving there, getting an appreciation for the culture, learning Japanese is probably a good start. Making sure that even though you're not a, you know, a native Japanese, that you respect their customs and traditions is a good place to start. Oh, that's wonderful, Abby. Um, well, I do believe that there is a website called www becomeashogun.com and within an hour you can print out a certificate that says that you are a shogun of japan mm -hmm. that's great quinn why do you need to be certified just go around telling people that you're already a shogun no one's gonna look it up they won't even question it you tell somebody you're a shogun you're a shogun done that's wonderful hero let's, effort let's do one more uh quinn what should I name my new plant? Emma should name her new plant. I kill things. Ah, well, then I think you should name it Bob because Bob's oh, a good name. Yeah. It's gender neutral in case your plant should identify as any gender. Oh, Bob, it's a good name. Oh, that's sweet. Abby. Oh, um, I think that um, you should really commune with your plant and find out the plant's soul name. So um, definitely get a lot of crystals, stare at your plant a lot, um, and you know maybe break out um, the conversations cards and find out what your plant's love language is. Aww. Alex, what should Emma name her new plant? Name for plant, you have to go to to the, uh, the Pittsburgh Public Library. You gotta go ask you know, the creepy librarian who always wears a hat. Um, he'll lead you to the basement where you'll find the runic section. I think you wanna name your plant the true name of Cthulhu. That way, if anybody breaks into your house, 
um, instead of having a dog which needs to be walked, you need to pick up its dropping, um, you have a plant which just needs water and then you can turn it into the horrible elder god Cthulhu in case you need somebody to play Mario Kart with. That's wonderful. <laughs> that sounds like a fun day. Uh, question from Karen. How do I stop my dog from barking? Again, her dog, I kill things. <laughs> Let's start with Quinn. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I would say... Uh, just limit what your dog can see that it's barking at. Like, if your dog's barking at the window, don't open the window. If your dog is barking at the neighbor, don't show the neighbor to your dog. <laughs> you know? That makes sense. Um, Alex, do you have um, any advice on how to stop a dog from barking? How to stop a dog from barking? I think definitely, definitely barking back at it just to show it what you're going through. Uh, dog <gasps> Dogs do have empathy, so I think that'll work. Nice. Abby. See, I think the best way to keep a dog from barking is to actually teach it the English language or <laughs> any of the romance languages, really, because, I mean, bark, bark, bark can get very grating, but, uh, you know, having your dog just randomly spout French words would be pretty relaxing. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Is that, that is all of the advice we need for right now. But we're going to play a wonderful game now called New Choice. And if everybody wants to come on for a second while we wait for suggestions, all we need is a suggestion of literally anything to inspire the new choice. I just want to say that I totally have a plant named Bob. Like, no joke. Bob. <laughs> it is, it is this little that. dying succulent plant that somehow has three years alone in a house and now has become mine. And I, his name is Bob. And then the second plant I got became named Bob's Friend. Um, and then I didn't name my plants after named that. Named Bob's name. Friend? Yeah, yeah. I have Bob and Bob's Friend. And then I have about three other plants and they don't have names. I have well, you know, from. if you want to know a plant name, just take the plant out of the earth, cut away the roots, and you can find they've got a name written right on them. You just have to. The more you know. <laughs> and can we get uh, from our audience? Oh, we, we have a suggestion. Um, okay, we're going to play a game called New Choice, and basically, we're going to have a scene. It's going to be interrupted by a little dong noise, and whenever that happens, the improviser has to provide a new choice, a different scenario, something else than they've just given you. So we have we're gonna, culture in decline is your suggestion to get you inspired, whatever that means to you. I'm so ready to get up on this monster truck. Oh man, I'm scared as heck, Hal. I oh, there's nothing to be scared. Just climb up on into the passenger seat. Monster trucks have accidents. People get hurt. Yeah, but other people, you know, New look choice. at this thing. We're going to be fine. Yeah, but it's always really cool when they do. Yeah, people get hurt, but I mean, you only live once, right? So... So what you're saying is that I get on the back of that and I ride with you through this, all, all over all this dirt in this arena here? Yep, don't forget the cars. Gonna... What, what happens with the cars? That just... You drive over them. Oh man, now I'm even more scared. Oh damn. Okay, o okay. You gotta promise me uh, I'm not gonna get hurt, right? You gotta promise me I, I'm not gonna have any of my limbs fall off, right? You gotta promise me that I'm not gonna die, right? Oh. Um, you know, promise is a strong word. <laughs> I can promise you that you will truly live. How about that? Yeah, sure. You're immortal. You're going to live forever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, 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 I guess I'll hop on. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Ooh, you mind if I crank up some tunes while we're in here? Oh, the music's gonna just distract me. It's gonna scare me. It's gonna... Music's gonna make me, like, pee in my pants. <laughs> the music's gonna make me chop your head off, Hal. <laughs> well, all right then, let's do it. <laughs> Sounds like a great way to pop uh, this. <laughs> there we go. Now I can see around corners easier. easier. <laughs> that was excellent. Okay, let's move on to our next game. Everybody else come back on. Is that Bob? No, this is Bob's friend. Bob <laughs> is in the other room, but this is Bob's friend. The <laughs> unnamed Bob. Oh shy. no, wait, is that Bob's friend or the unnamed one? <laughs> no, it is Bob's friend. Bob's friend is a very large plant, actually, compared to Bob. Bob's itty bitty. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we're going to play freeze tag. So if everybody just wants to get loose, get moving, with or without plants, with or without sun hats, <laughs> whatever you want to do. And while you're moving, I want you to be barking in a European accent, something with a nice romance language. Fork. Fork. Draw. <laughs> Le fork. Fork. Yes. What we're going to do is Le two poses, and these will inspire our improvisers. Just to start a scene, can I get Sydney and Quinn? Well, this is a very heavy tray of food, but if you, you build up your arm strength, you can do it in one hand. It's just support with your other hand. Just I am not so strong. I must use two hands to support the tray. You use two hands. You cannot work in soup kitchen. What? Freeze. Quinn. Oh, dang it, Gladys, you dropped the baby. No, the baby. Oh, my God. Right down the well. It's so dark down there and wet. I don't, I don't know what the baby, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know the baby. I told you it needed swim lessons. We haven't even named it yet. This is one way to baptize the child. <laughs> we, we can get, we can get a priest. Please. We can uh, baptize him from up here. Uh, tag out Sydney. No, see, it's it's here is the handle, and here is the spell. <laughs> I I yeah, don't okay. get it. I'm bad at fairy tales or grim or whatever the hell this is. It's okay. It's okay. We can do this a little bit at a time. Okay, start over. Freeze, plane. No, is this how the Bengals did it? <laughs> or when I really no, more or less. Is this, is this how Egyptians really walked? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you didn't. Oh, yeah. They always had one side hand like this and one. I thought they just sucked as artists. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I'm glad, glad you came to me. The number one uh, Egyptologist at this university. Oh, yeah. They, they definitely just. Um... Freeze, Eric. <laughs> you know, you ever just like think about something and it's like, whoa, that's yeah, a big like, thought. I know, it's like, why does everybody have 10 digits and yet I've got two thumbs? Freeze. Whoa. Dave. Alex. <laughs> Do you ever just wonder how your thumbs know where to go where your brain says they should go? All the time, dude. Like, if, if I just wear a thumb... Quinn. <laughs> Quinn. I don't. And that's how you do the the 
thumb game. The thumb game? Yeah! All the head kids are doing it. Freeze. Alex. So, uh, ma'am, do you want to be picked up by two different vehicles? I mean, I can give you a ride, but you got two. I mean, I'm not sure what you want. I'm a little confused. Well, are you going up there? Uh, <laughs> technical difficulties. <laughs> Told you she would come out when we weren't doing that. This. <laughs> I'm, I'm going straight ahead. I'm going into town, ma'am. I can give you a ride, but I just, you know, this thing, I'm not sure if you want two rides. Uh, hmm. If you can get me into town, and then could you get me right, like turn around and take me right back here? I'm kind of hoping the aliens will take me up. Yeah, I'm not really like an Uber service, okay? Oh, freeze, Abby. So you just really got to pull on the string and that's how you're going to get the balloon down. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll do now it. remember not to panic, but there are 10 people up there. So we got to get this hot air balloon down. Oh my God. That's frightening. That's a lot of responsibility. Freeze. I told you not to bend. <laughs> so all you have to do is just like, Go around this pole here, you know, you get your legs up in there, and then right. just like look as sexy as you possibly can. Breathe, Sydney. <laughs> I really zoom yoga from our office chairs is I don't I don't oh gosh. I don't think I understand like like downward dog like this is it just doesn't feel good on my back. Quinn. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so, mom, what do you think? Is, oh, this is this normal? Forward. No, that God no, that's not normal. That's that's hideous. Oh my god! Let's get that away from us. Um, I, I okay, I'll I, I'll kiss your feet. I, that's all I've ever asked for. Just worship me. I, I, I really want the job. What is that <laughs> when I get it? Okay. Breeze, Ben, Abby. <laughs> you have to open your mouth, sir, if I'm going to inspect your teeth. It's not a makeout session. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, doctor. <laughs> I understand it's been a while since your wife died, but you got to... <laughs> Uh, time and place. Time and place. Guys, Have you been uh, flossing like I told you? I flop uh, once a week. All right. You obviously haven't been doing it enough, so just lean in. Uh, there, I think I got it. Okay. Uh, ben. Ah! Ah! This, is, uh, this is the most terrifying roller coaster I've ever been on. Ah! <laughs> did you? Oh did my you? God. My keys. I just lost my keys. I just lost my heart medicine. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Why? Why did you focus on the 30 mile terror? Oh. Okay, next time we're going to go over. We're coming around again. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can grab it. Freeze. Plane. Oh, honey. Oh. I love it when you recreate Beyonce dance moves with me. Uh, of course, that's that's what I agreed to when uh, when we got married. Married. Oh, we have so much in common. I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> we like doing uh, Beyonce moves. Mm -hmm. We like doing uh, Backstreet Boys. Um, let's see. Who can we do next? Um, oh. Michael Jackson. Oh, my. I Wait, was just going to say that. You just going to say that? I, Eric. Yeah. 
You are my number one, man. I'm your number one. You're my number one, dude. You. Thank you. I just, I just love you so much, David. You know, you're just really my number one, like in life, at home, in the streets, on the car, in a driveway. You're running out of things to. <laughs> oh, thank you. So I that love was fantastic. That, song. that was this show, but there's lots of other exciting stuff going on. Um, Dave, I know you have stuff. Oh, you know, you bet I do. Last week, Emmett, my clownfish, just had just put out his first stand-up special. We have four separate stand-up specials, and he got the host. It was so funny. <laughs> uh, Very nice, uh, Quinn. Because he's a stuff. clownfish. I do. Oh, I don't know Let's if you've heard in there. This is my YouTube channel. Typhon is king. That is one O, not two. It's not the weather storm. I occasionally put out cool random content like music or animations, some stop motion, random sketches. Who knows what I'm going to do next? So soon next right. so soon. Get on that channel. Quinn is awesome. Is awesome. Mm -hmm. She's not and the mighty Quinn for, no for no reason, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and Eric, you might have stuff. And if not, just do a Beyonce move. <laughs> I don't That's actually know like anything about oh. so I just made something. Else. He also has <laughs> things. Thank you for hosting. He has things. things. Oh yeah, there we go. He has several oh, yeah. albums also, out. I did tech. He Ray was teching the whole time. Um, sorry, <laughs> Sydney, you had a thing. Oh no no, I was showing I was showing a Beyonce move, but sure I do have a thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> give me a moment to speak. No, I. Um, I'm directing an online play with the Riverfront Theater Company. So if you want to audition, we're accepting auditions till the 28th. Um, you can find all the information online. Just go to the Riverfront Theater Company's page. Excellent. Is there anything Did you actually Riverfront? have anything? Or... Hmm? Hmm? What? Did you actually have anything you want to promote or no? <laughs> well, he has several albums out under um, the name Strange Dream. They're really cool. Um, mostly instrumental. And I think in the one coming up, um, we have a guest singer that is uh, in this show. <laughs> it's Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you should look for that album because I, I mean, I might be biased. This might be the wife thing going, just, just, but it's really Gosh. good. Gosh. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, what was your what's the, the album name released under again? Uh Strange Dream. That's Strange my artist Dream. name. Mm -hmm. Uh yes, I have three albums out already. Uh fourth one coming this year. Tried to like it's on every streaming platform I could think of, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music. You know. Oh, cool. Awesome. Check it out. Yeah. You know what? I, I think it's great because Polka is making a comeback and I, I admire your courage. Yeah, you know, I'm still upset. In like 2005, they got rid of the Polka category at the Grammys. It's short sighted. Shame. Short sighted. Yeah. Short, yeah. <laughs> and anyone else, anything you want to promote, just personally shout out. If you That's need anything measured, I have uh, this uh, tape. I can measure things. Ooh, that is a skill. And then when I'm done, I just do this. I measure it, and then when I'm oh. done, I just do that. Oh my so god! That's really okay. all there is to it. We can't Every time stop I that. Measure, Thanks for coming. Great night, everybody. Bye. 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 And bye. <laughs>